Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video guys, I'm going to talk to you about a little project that I want to do in my uh, little apartment here where I live. I've shown you videos before regarding the temperature in my little room where I do all my work and stuff. And so here I I would like to have a little possibly uh, a grow tent where I can it, uh, where I can put two of these mining frames. Uh, these are the Astrin six bay mining mining bay cases that I got on Amazon. They're about twenty five dollars Canadian. I got them on sale, so two of them for fifty bucks. I thought that was a good deal, so I just I picked those up. And as well, yeah, I I want to I want to stack these uh, cases together. Uh, in this area here, and possibly put it put a grow tent in this area here, uh, with those with those two miners in it, and then I would like to distribute the hot air out out through the window here, and I have this the cloth window seal, either for a portable air conditioner or like a turbo fan or something. So most likely I'm going to do turbo fan, and not pump air conditioning into the uh, into the grow tent. So so this just basically goes around the window around the window here and it has holes enough for the turbo fan or uh, HVAC stuff to go through and then with that I also picked up a 12 PCIe motherboard this is a gigabyte B250 FinTech and I got this on Craigslist and it also came with a 8 gigabyte stick and as well a pin, uh, Intel Pentium G4400 CPU so combined for I got this I picked this up for about a hundred bucks Canadian so I thought that was a good deal, and with this I can fit this motherboard on this mining, these two mining frames here, so that I, so that I can run twelve cards and then use one motherboard. I I normally like setting up six or six to eight GPU rigs, but this time I want to utilize a twelve PCIe board, and see how that works. So. Uh, before we talk about more specific stuff, let's go ahead and build these two frames first. Let's do it. Jack it up.
All right, guys, after about two hours, it took me about two hours to build these two Asterin mining frames. And they claimed on their website and on the Amazon ad that it would take about 10 minutes. Each frame, they said, it would take about 10 minutes per frame. It took me an hour per frame. I don't know if I'm just bad at building mining frames. I probably am. But these were just super annoying, guys. I, I don't know. Uh, like, uh, for example, down at the bottom, these little, these little nuts here, like you have to, you have to wedge them inside here. Oh man, it was super annoying. As well as these bolts here. I know some of you have, have had experience with these. Uh, let me know in the, down in the comments if you guys had similar issues. And uh, but otherwise, everything else is pretty easy. Putting in these these parts and the uh, the brackets to hold the power supply and as well as the SSD. And um, it came with fan mounts and all that stuff, so I'll do that next time. I'll, I'll have a part two video uh, when I put all this stuff in. Uh, so now, guys, let's let's just see. I wanna I wanna put the motherboard in. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's the Gigabyte B250 motherboard here. Let me know if you think I should put this on the top or on the bottom. So. Depending on how long my risers are, I have a feeling that I'm going to be putting it right here. Uh, I feel like it's going to stay right here because the risers will go up onto the six GPUs up top and then another six will go down into the bottom six cards. So that right there seem, makes sense to me. That looks pretty good though. And then I have a couple GPU, uh, GPU. Power supply options, I have a 1000 watt P2 here, Platinum, and as well I have two HP server, server power supplies that can handle 240, and I don't have 240 in this room. I'm potentially maybe getting one, get my buddy to come in and wire one in for me in this room, so then I can add one 1200 watt HP server power supply here and another HP server power supply here. And then I will encase this whole thing, encase it in, in a grow tent of some sort and have like a fan going in and then a fan uh, to take the heat out and put it out the window here, uh, which I showed you guys. I'm going to put this seal cloth on and uh, wrap a hose. Like I don't have a hose or anything yet. So this is going to be an ongoing project, guys. Uh, it's This is something... I've been interested in doing and wanting to do anyway and uh, I know that uh, some people have used grow tents in their condo or house or wherever uh, to keep the heat in and to put the heat out outside uh, or concentrated heat out so that it doesn't heat up the whole room uh, per se so um, yeah so that's that's it guys I'll let you know what's next and please let me know in the comments what you think about this frame as well as what kind of GPUs should I get? Okay, the, this this rig, I, I really want to get um, some really nice cards. Let me know in the comments guys if you if you may, if you watch till the very end. Let me know if you uh, uh, have any advice for me for this 12 GPU rig that I'm going to place right here in this very spot. Uh, maybe I'll move it over there actually so that's closer to the window. And then uh, I hope to have a grow tent or something around it to concentrate the heat. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Smash the like button, all that good stuff. I know you guys watch, like watching this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.